What is up guys? I just wanted to stop in and say that I joined a new gym. So I joined on Monday. Today is Wednesday and the training is like 20,000 times harder. It's a lot longer. It's way more intense and I love it. Like it's exactly what I need. Um, there's multiple reasons why I decided to change gyms. Um, but with that being said, I've made the personal decision that I'm not videotaping in the gym anymore. So, and I really want to eventually start recording again, but right now that's not what I can do. Like I am so devoted to this training right now and I want to make the best, you know, I want to make the best of it. And to do that, I need to focus all of my efforts into training and I just, I am not going to be able to record. And not only that, like it's a new gym. I don't want to put up a, a, kick up a stand in the middle of the gym, you know, like that's just not my style. Um, it's super intense in there anyway. So like there's like regional competitors throughout the entire gym. And that's just not what I personally feel like is the right thing to do. So we'll see when the next time I, you know, record, but I'm just really excited, so I'll catch you guys later. Good morning, people. It is 7.21 in the morning, and I am going to Romwad. So if you don't know what Romwad is, I just started it. Today's going to be like my fourth day. And Romwad is basically like you're stretching every morning for 15 minutes, and then on your rest day, you do stretches for 45 minutes. And... It's kind of like yoga-ish, I don't know. But it's supposed to help with mobility and recovery. And that is something that I'm taking very seriously right now because my training is way harder than previously. It's way longer. And just in general, like I need to make sure that I take care of my body, help it recover, help it be more mobile. And that's going to help me in the long run. So I am going to show you guys some of that. guys I just finished my Ramwad I feel like not only do I feel more awake but I feel stretched out and I feel good I feel ready to go today is Thursday Thursday and Sundays are my rest day so I really take advantage of that I tend to always want to take advantage of any time away from the gym to like recover properly and I've been doing that consistently for about two weeks and um, but I'm realizing that it is very time consuming either way. So today I'm definitely taking advantage of stuff that I need to get done as well as continue to take care of my body and recover properly eating, drinking. Um, I'm going to take a bath. I've been taking baths and Epsom salt consistently and all that stuff I'm going to show you. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next clip. guys so earlier I showed you guys that I did Ramwad in the morning to help with recovery because it is my rest day and I ended up I didn't do any cardio or active recovery today um, I just had so much to do and it took way too long I had to get my tires rotated my oil changed and it took way too long and I just I had to get my priorities for priorities first and today yes being my rest day I didn't get to just relax like previously um, but I was able to get things done that I'm not normally able to get done when I am working out and focused on um, helping my body recover for the next day of training. So with that being said, I went yesterday, I didn't get to take a bath, but I went because yesterday I didn't get to take a bath because I was out of Epsom salt. So this is the Epsom salt that I use. And I was out of it yesterday, so I couldn't use it. 
Um, I went through like a bag in about a week, so I'm gonna have to not use that much because it's expensive. Um, but it's just supposed to help with muscle fatigue and soreness. It honestly, I don't know how big of a difference it makes, but I know that just by me doing it, it's helping some, and that's all I can really ask for. Also, within all of my errands, I got really hungry. And I was like, I'm going to go to GNC, it's rest day, I'm going to kind of, not splurge, but I'm going to eat something that I wouldn't normally eat on training day. So, this is what I got. I got a complete Lenny and Larry's cookie. I've had this one, a lemon poppy seed one, and a chocolate chip one. And everyone raves about this, and this tasted disgusting. I didn't like it. It wasn't terrible, but it had no flavor. You know how, like, all protein bars have a distinct flavor? That's what this tasted like. So far, the lemon poppy seed one is my favorite, and then the chocolate chip, and then this one. And I also got this Toffee Crunch Nuts and More peanut butter. Um, I've been having to eat more. My carbs are, my macros are the same, but I've been having to eat more fats in one sitting um, because I'm not eating a lot of fats in the beginning of my meals and at the end of the day that's when I fat load I don't know if that's how what you would call it but so I decided to get this instead of just have plain peanut butter because this is really good and then the biggest thing I want to talk about is these cake bites from on nutrition so I went originally for this cookie and then the girl started talking to me about these and I was like okay looked at the macros for three cake bites three and these tasted like a cake bite like amazing seven grams of fat 25 carbs and 20 protein in three of these like that's a good amount this is a f big cookie, yes, but honestly, I think the three cake bites, you know, smashed down into a cookie would be the same thing. And this has, this is, there's two total servings in one cookie. So that would be eight fat, 40 or 50 something carbs, and 16 protein. So this is actually better. However, this has no fiber, and this has four fiber. So... When you're eating carbs and such, you want to try to hit fiber with your carbs because those are better carbs. So these are probably not as good as carbs for you, but hey, it's if it fits your macros. If it's my macros, that's all I care about. Um, so yeah, that's about all my day consisted of amongst other errands, a lot of driving, a lot of spending too much money, and yeah, I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to drink a ton of water. I've already hit all my macros for today. I went to Payway for dinner. And a tip for if you go to Payway, if you haven't, it's a chain off of P.F. Chang's. It's kind of like a Chipotle version of P.F. Chang's. It's more sit down though. Um, but I guess that's not really a good description. But that's how I consider describing it. Um, I got my chicken steamed versus fried and I got it on a bed of vegetables instead of having rice and vegetables or just rice. So versus how I would normally get it before I actually looked in depth with the macros, I would just get honey seared chicken on brown rice with vegetables and I would pick up the rice not eat a ton of it and sometimes I would get double chicken, double veggies or something. And then I found out that you can steam it, so that takes away some of the fat, some of the carbs and stuff. And it keeps the protein in a better state. Um, so yeah, it was good. I think that next time I'm going to try to get like the honey seared sauce on the side or something because they like overload it with sauce and I don't want that much sauce. <laughs> I ain't about the sauce. So, that's what I'm doing and my phone's consistently dying and I'm excited for training tomorrow and catch you in the next clip just a quick disclaimer um, I changed gyms 
for personal reasons and um, you know now I'm gonna I'm traveling 30 minutes to go to this new gym and I'm applying for jobs up there and stuff and that's just the path that I've chosen to take and I mentioned a lot in this video as I'm editing it that like the training's harder and whatnot and that's not to knock any of the training that I did before because I am what I am today because of the training I had previously, because of the coaching I had previously, because of the partners I had previously. So <laughs> I know that like some of my um, fellow teammates are watching this. So I just want to <laughs> add that in there. Hey, <laughs> um, but yeah, I am not knocking the training that I had before. It's just that the training at this gym is obviously, it's it's mainly like longer. It's two and a half hours long basically. And that's just reality. So it's a good lesson for a lot of people because you shouldn't, you know, what's the phrase that you say is don't bite the hand that feeds you. Um, which is basically what I'm trying to get at is for anybody who might be in a similar situation or has the same basic guidelines surrounding it is don't take for granted what you had before. Um, I certainly am not. I am just kind of explaining like it was a good reality check going to this new gym and is a very humbling experience and I realized like I should have implemented ROMWOD and recovery before but it wasn't necessarily a necessity because I was able to make it through the week and survive barely because the training was still really hard and I was really sore and stuff but now it's like if I don't I'll get hurt and I know that because I can tell that if I don't take care of my body properly because the training is so much more elongated and there's a lot of movements that I don't have that they do a lot over there like muscle ups and all these things is that I am putting a lot more strain on my body and I should have and so should you guys implement this whether you do CrossFit, whether you do bodybuilding or whatever you do, you need to stretch, you need to become mobile because it will help you. And yeah, so when I'm talking about my recovery throughout this whole video, I'm talking about it because it is something that I need to implement. I should have done it before and I'm rambling right now. Um, but I just wanted to make that disclaimer. I actually made a video. <sighs> And I was uploading all of my videos right now and I made a clip of me talking about like going to a new gym. It was right after I had talked to my previous coach and <laughs> I was like crying. <laughs> I was like crying and obviously my hormones were all like crazy and stuff <laughs> and I deleted it. Like I was gonna, I was gonna put it in my vlog and then while I was putting it all on my computer just now, I was like, no, like people don't need to see that. I don't need to be crying. Like I... I know that I had a lot on my mind at that moment in time, so like that's why I was crying, but I didn't necessarily want to upload it. And then I realized like um, as I'm editing all these videos that I, it seems like I'm knocking what I had before and I'm not like at all. <laughs> it's just, re I'm just being realistic, that's all. Should have done it before, should have implemented recovery before. My training was great before. This is just the next step in my journey right now. And in my path in life, that's just the direction I had to take. And in order for me to better myself, better my life, better my job situation and everything, I had to go to this new gym, go to this new part of town. And yeah, so I just got back from working out. Um, I'm super tired. Um, I ate my post-workout meal and I'm going to put this video together, upload it. I know it's kind of all over the place, but I just wanted to get a little bit caught up on footage, I guess. I mentioned in this video that I'm not videotaping at the gym anymore. So with that, um, 
I'm going to try my best to kind of show you the rest of everything and just educate you guys on everything else. I don't think that I necessarily need to stop. Um, and then I wanted to say as well, my next video is going to be my granola recipe. So I home, I make my granola homemade. I put it in my yogurt every morning and I basically just wanted to, you know, create like a macro friendly recipe that works for me. Um, in previous videos, I talked about macros. I kind of said how you create your own personal meal plan and that I didn't want to give up granola because I love my breakfast. And so I just ended up creating my own and also it's way cheaper to do it that way because you're doing everything in bulk and there's like no artificial things in there. But I should be putting that video up soon. I just have to edit it. Um, I just wanted to get this vlog up and kind of keep you guys posted on my life. And yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I'm so excited for the rest of this year. So have a good one. And I hope you have a great weekend. It is Friday, by the way. So have a good Saturday and Sunday. But it's not my Friday. So.